A sexually sane being will make wise sexual doings decision. Welcome to the month of June webinar, which is brought to you by Orgasm Reform Institute. Today we are going to be learning about comprehensive sex education. But before we go into that, let's do a quick recap on what we learned last month. So last month we learned about parent-child sex education. We learned about the relationship between parents and child, the role of the parent in child sexuality education, meet on parent-child sex education. So a quick one before we go into the advantage before we go into today's topic, let's just look at the advantages of a sexually informed child to the development of the nation. I believe we all know that the family is the smallest unit of a nation. And everything we see in the society today is because it's due to the effect of what is happening in our different homes. So when a sexually in when different sexually informed child comes from different home the nation will be sexually seen. So number one advantage of a sexually informed child is the fact that the child will be aware of themselves sexually. They will understand who they are sexually and when they understand who they are sexually, they will be able to respect the next person because they will also have a better understanding of who the next person is. They will not see the opposite sex or same sex as sex objectification. There will be respect on the, on the opposite gender. There will be, there will be respect on the same, the same self gender. So apart from the fact that it helps the child it is or herself, a sexually informed child is able to respect the next person. Another thing is another thing on the advantages of sexually informed child is the fact that it allows the child to understand their sexual rights. A lot of people, a lot of adults do not even understand, they do not even know they have sexual rights. Not to talk of understanding what it is so when a child is sexually informed the child will understand the child will know their sexual their sexual rights and they will be able to demand these rights from people and also another advantage of a sexually informed child is the fact that this child will be able to navigate their sexual desires positively Positively, they will be able to navigate their sexual desires positively, and there is something called sexual transmutation, where sexual energy, being a creative energy, is transferred into another form of energy to create something else. Instead of engaging in sexual activities as a young person, you are using that energy, which is a creative energy, to perform another activity. So those are the few advantages of a sexually informed child. So going on to today's topic, comprehensive sex education. I know, <laughs> I am very, very sure that when we hear the word comprehensive sex education, what comes to our mind is contraception. When we hear the word comprehensive sex education, what comes to our mind is permission to allow young people to engage in sexual activity. In paraventure, they are using condoms and all that. But that is a wrong assumption. That is not what comprehensive sex education is about. So, what is comprehensive sex education? Comprehensive sex education is a right-based, right-based and gender-based transformative approach. So it focuses on human rights, 
it focuses on its gender and it's and it has a transformative approach this education must be able to transform the person receiving the information and comprehensive sex education is most effective when it is taught over several years by integrating age appropriate information that accounts for the developing capacities of young people helping young people explore and nurture positive values regarding their sexual and reproductive health and rights so i'm going to read out a few points one it is right based it allows you to know your right to demand your sexual right and to protect your sexual rights number two it is gender based number three it is a transformative approach and i believe that everything that has to do with transformation is a positive effect number four it is taught over several years by integrating age appropriate information that accounts for the developing capacities of young people so the comprehensive sex education you give to a toddler should be different from what you give to a preschooler should be different from what you give to someone in middle age it should be different from someone you from what you give to a teenager you do not give this different age group the same information it should be age appropriate that accounts for the developing capacities of young people and one of the core aim of comprehensive sex education is to help young people explore and nurture positive values regarding their sexual and reproductive health and rights and i believe that this definition is different from what we've always believed comprehensive sex education should be about another definition comprehensive sex education is a sex education instruction method based on curriculum that aims to give the students the knowledge attitude skills and values to make appropriate and healthy choices in their sexual life it aims to give the student the knowledge attitude skills and values so comprehensive sex education is a life skill it is a life skill it has to inculcate values into young people so as to make appropriate and healthy choices in their sexual lives and let me tell you something you may find difficult to believe comprehensive sex education ultimately promotes sexual abstinence as the safest safest sexual choice for young people it promotes sexual abstinence as the safest sexual choice for young people and like i said earlier it empowers all young people to know demand and protect their sexual rights now i'm going to ask you this question this question do you know your sexual rights do you, do you know your right as a sexual person because if you do not know your right as a sexual person there's no way you'll be able to demand nor protect these rights and every child deserves a comprehensive sex education it is their right to have a comprehensive sex education because when we give these children comprehensive sex education it is going to be for the better betterment of the society because they will have a better understanding of out of the of healthy choices they can make of appropriate and healthy choices they can make they know their own rights 
the demand the demands and the process they are they making them have a better understanding of their neighbor they will know that okay my neighbor too has their own or his own sexual right that i must protect And also, it improves sexual and reproductive health. So, it is very, very important. Very, very important for every one of us to start investing in comprehensive sex education. It is not the old news that we've always heard that when you hear the word comprehensive education, it means you can ask, you can access as a young person in that much as they are using protection. No, that's wrong. That is wrong. That is not what comprehensive sex education is about. And because we believe that information is permission, we decided to keep things to ourselves and our society is in a mess at the moment. It ultimately promotes sexual abstinence as the safest sexual choice for young people. The time I was listening to someone that engages in only in abstinence only education and she was speaking to little children telling them sex is bad sex is demonic sex is rubbish and i was in my mind i was like wow 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 if you are going to tell these little ones that sex is bad sex is demonic sex is rubbish just to allow them keep their private parts in their pants when they grow up and get married i'm 100 percent sure that the information they grew up with regarding sex is what they will live with when they get married because when you tell a child growing up sex is bad sex is rubbish sex is demonic when she gets married of course that is what to keep playing in her mind sex is bad sex is demonic then it's, it's not going to take a long unlearning relearning process just to deliver herself from what she has learnt when she was young. So, if, even though comprehensive education ultimately promotes sexual abstinence as the safest sexual choice for young people, it also prepares people for future sexual activity. Because no, we are not going to live in denial at all. We are not going to tell ourselves that that people will not engage in sex because people will people will engage people will and young people will engage in sex i'm not going to do de- we are not going to live in denial again we, we need to start telling ourselves the truth that yes young ones will engage in sex so if as a sex educator it is also our right to prepare them for future sexual activity and when i say prepare i don't mean to permit them a lot a lot of young people in relationship believe in fact as they are in a relationship then they, they can go ahead to engage in sex some of them don't even know that it is their right to say no to sexual advances even from a boyfriend or girlfriend a lot of young people do not know that they have the right to say no to a boyfriend. It is their right. It is their sexual right. And comprehensive sex education is not something we do once and that's all. No. No, like I read earlier, it is it, it is taught over se- over several years by integrating eight appropriate information age appropriate information you build you build line by line precept by precept you give your toddler the information necessary for that age you give a preschooler the information necessary for that age you give a teenager the information for that age you give adolescent the information necessary for that age and you give a young adult the information necessary for that age it is taught for it is a continual thing it is not something we do once and stop 
it is comprehensive it is weighty according to the international technical guidance on sexuality education comprehensive sexuality education must be one scientifically accurate two incremental three age and developmentally appropriate for curriculum based we don't just teach about it scatteredly it is curriculum by curriculum number five comprehensive number six based on a human rights approach number seven based on gender equality i want to abstinence only education does is just to focus on the female gender hey when oh god, god i just pray god will help us abstinence only education focuses on just the female gender and i still can't comprehend how an i man equals to virginity we'll talk about that in another in forthcoming webinar we're going to talk about sexual debut we're going to talk about virginity as a, as a social construct we're going to be talking about a lot of things Comprehensive sexual sex education is based on gender equality, both the guy and the girl. Number eight, it is culturally relevant and context appropriate. Culturally relevant and context appropriate. Number nine, it is transformative. It is transformative. It, is, it produces a positive result in the life of the listener and number 10 it is able to help develop life skills needed to support healthy choices able to help develop life skills needed to support healthy choices look at these 10 powerful points that comprehensive sexuality education can is based on these are the 10 points comprehensive sexuality education is based on and yet we shy away from it because of what we've always believed in, because of what we've always heard from people. There are key facts about comprehensive sexuality education. Number one, it does not lead to earlier sexual activity or risk your sexual behavior there's a popular saying that permission that information is permission which is very very wrong information is not permission when people understand when people have a comprehensive understanding of what sex reproductive health their sexual rights is about they are going to make healthy choices regarding their sexual lives the key part number two says about two-thirds of evaluation show reduction in targeted risky behaviors number three says studies of abstinence only programs are either inconclusive or show abstinence only education to be ineffective at improving health outcomes and the fourth point here says delivering high quality comprehensive sexuality education requires training and support. It requires training and support. You don't just wake up one day and say, Yes, I'm not getting comprehensive sexual education. You would have count, would have sit down, study, do a deep study into what comprehensive education is about because it is it must be sexually. It must be scientifically accurate, it must be incremental, it must be age appropriate, it must be gender, it must be based on gender equality, it must be transformative, it must be curriculum based. So it is not a easy it is it's not an easy task. Number five says addressing gender and power issues leads to better health better health outcomes. To be more effective, curricula must be tailored to the specific context and needs of young people. 
And the last key fact says, is engaging parents and communities as part of this education is critical. Sexuality education is most effective when school-based programs are complemented by community-based initiatives. So when it comes to complex sex education, I'm not leaving it to just one person. I'm just saying, okay, the parents alone. Because when, when the school is saying the same thing, when the community is saying the same thing, it will, it will be able to stay well with the child. But in our world today, the church is telling you this, music is telling you this, baby Nigeria is telling you this, and like, you just want to do anything. Now to the benefits of comprehensive sex education. Number one, it is more effective than receiving no instruction and or those who receive abstinence only instructions. It is result oriented. Comprehensive sex education produces results. It produces transformative results. It produces transformative results. One of the results is it doesn't allow young people engage in sexual activity early or riskier sexual behavior. And another result is the fact that there is reduction in targeted risky behaviors. There is redu reduction in teenage pregnancy. There is reduction in violent behavior. There is reduction in sexual misbehaviors and all. And another thing is that it has a positive impact on sexual and reproductive health, notably in reducing STIs, HIV, and unintended pregnancy. It does not extend sexual activity, but has a positive impact on safer sexual behaviors and can delay sexual devil. I believe we now have a better understanding of what comprehensive sex education is about. Because if you are going to be ready to face the sex, our society the way it is, we need to stop living in denial. We need to be very, very true to ourselves. Very, very true to ourselves. To ourselves. So in the coming months, we are going to take age group by, per age group the different sex education for each age group. In the coming months, we are going to talk about the different sex education for each age group. We are going to talk about sexual debut we're going to talk about body autonomy a lot of people do not know what body autonomy autonomy means a lot of people do not know but in the coming months we're going to be having interesting discussion interesting session on sex education i believe you've learned something i believe you've been enlightened You can drop your contributions, drop your comments, your questions, your opinions, or what you will also want me to talk about or explain on in the comment section. If you're not following, on, following us yet on Instagram, do well to follow, in, follow us on orgasm underscore reform.